Wildfire tearing through one of the world's wealthiest and most celebrated cities is staggering. But the latest evidence from the EU's Climate Monitoring Service suggests the fires aren't remarkable just because of where they are, but why. Last year was the hottest ever recorded. Not everywhere, as this map of air temperatures shows, but averaged out, 2024 was 1.6 degrees warmer than pre-industrial times. Look at that data another way, and you can see just how anomalously warm 2023 and 2024 were. The analysis also found that that warmer atmosphere also held the highest moisture levels ever recorded, 5% more than the 30-year average. Moisture that must fall as rain, causing 2024's extreme flooding, like here in Valencia in Spain, and places where that rain didn't fall, like East Africa, just had to deal with extreme heat and record drought. Our climate has become alien to us. What we've seen last year is unprecedented, actually, in human history. You have to, you would have to go back uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years, to find a planet that has had an, equal, uh, an equally high or higher temperature. And this would be a totally different world where continents were in different places and uh, there were no human societies. Much of that extreme weather is governed by our oceans. Compared to the 30-year average, that's this line here, the ocean warming we've seen is stark. But this is important too. Many of these peaks and troughs are linked to a natural phenomenon called El Niño-La Niña in the Pacific Ocean. The 2023-24 warm spike was partly boosted by El Niño. But look how a typically cooler La Niña period failed to bring global temperatures down by much in this warmer world. El Niño also rules California weather, but climate change has upped the extremes. Last winter, they had plenty of rain, but with the La Niña phase now, rain is falling further north, whereas in LA, there's been drought. Last year's heat and rain boosted vegetation growth and unusually warm, dry winter, creating perfect conditions for fire, whether started by accident, arson or nature. At the end of this year, world leaders meet in Brazil to try once again to cooperate in slowing global warming. It's a process America's next president wants not just to withdraw from, but halt. Could what's happening in Los Angeles change his thinking?